How, Wes? How do you stay continually progressing towards your goals? How is your trajectory straight up? How do you continually progress without fail? I stick to things for a month or two or three months or six months, and then I always fall off. I regress. I fall back into my same habits. How do you, Wes, pull this off continually over the four, last 14 years and never falter? One mindset. One fucking mindset, and that's happily dissatisfied. I stay happily dissatisfied, and I only see what remains to be done. Foolish individuals, they don't laser focus on their weakness. All they do is magnify their strengths all day and pat themselves on the back over and over for what they did do. I only see what I didn't do. The motherfuckers who only see what they did do, every time there's a celebration, they run to vices. Every time there's stress, they run to vices. They run to vices to celebrate their success. And when they're stressed out, they run to vices because their success is being threatened. I don't think about my success. I think about moment to moment progression and what I'm failing to do always. I don't even see my success now. If I did, I would have took a day off like you motherfuckers. Motherfucker, guess what? You don't deserve a vacation until your life is a life that you don't need a fucking vacation from. Where would I go on vacation from here? What the fuck would I do? My life is better than your fucking vacation. Do you get that? If you enjoy your daily life more than kicking your feet up on the fucking beach and celebrating, you've found the fucking answer. Flow state, work that produces your result that is exactly what you would like to do. When you've created a life you don't need a vacation from, that's when you found out the fucking answer. If you need a fucking break, if you need to fucking celebrate, if you can't sit in the stress and realize that's needed for your progress, you fucking lost it. Without stress, you'd be the guy on the fucking couch, smoking weed, doing fucking nothing. That's probably what most of you motherfuckers are. Fact is, don't be the motherfucker who magnifies his success. Be the motherfucker who can care little about his strengths and only sees his weaknesses. Too many fat motherfucking millionaires talking about discipline, running their family in the ground. Because dad, dad is a guy who gets it. He's got money. But guess what? Dad's reading, leading you down the fat ass road that's going to cause you a lot of pain. And dad ain't fucking learned the rule number one of being a dad. Don't give your kids everything. Don't give your kids everything that you never had. Teach them everything that you never fucking knew, motherfucker. Teach them about macros. Teach them about personal development. Teach them about always progressing in life because progression is life. Progression is life. Regression is death. There is no stagnation. I've said this from the beginning. Have you seen stagnation in me? No, because when I start to regress, I feel like I'm fucking dying. So do you guys. When you backpedal after I give you this awareness, it's painful. When you agree with any of this wisdom, damn, dude shouldn't have titties. Damn, when I sleep and I do feel like a bitch. Damn, when I'm hungover, I do know I'm being less of myself and I'm fucking slapping my people in the face that believe in me because I'm a disrespectful piece of shit. Literally, when you live this way, and I've enlightened you, we pulled the veil back and you're enlightened, your awareness level so high from listening to everything that we live on this channel, everything we preach and we embody on this channel, it's gonna get more and more painful. Your conscience is gonna get louder and louder as you move on. So you guys, you guys that magnify your fucking strengths, stop doing it. You're grand in that area, time to move on to the next one, bitch. Just as you conquered that financial status in that situation, you need to conquer your physical capabilities. You need to conquer all mental capability. Do you understand that discipline is the root of all this? And if you're still fat, you lack discipline. Self-control is strength. Strength through restraint, motherfucker. That's what it is. And then controlling your thoughts, right thought is mastery. If you're sitting there 
spelling incorrectly. I am this, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a loser. And you're saying this in your head. You have to be honest that that is really not negative self-talk. This is an accurate depiction of the moment you're living in and what you're aligned with. If you keep eating in this manner, if you keep missing workouts, you will be what you're telling yourself, even if you're not it right now. I have a lot of people like, Wes, I'm in good shape, but I have negative self-talk. It's a prelude to the future. I don't care if you're in good shape now. You're being gifted the future. Your self-talk when out of alignment is the crystal ball to what you're creating, motherfucker. You know more than you think. You can see further in the future than you know. You just don't want to believe it because you're a fucking asshole who doesn't want to stop the vices that are leading you down the path of destruction. You know exactly where you're going and your conscience is telling you this. So once again, the mindset to continually progress is happily dissatisfied. You have to learn to only see what you haven't done. I know that's hard for you guys who've been losing your whole life and need people to tell you you're winning, but when you get to a certain level in life, you don't give a fuck about your wins. You're hard on yourself. You're stern with self and kind to others. And kindness from Wes Watson and the real ones is the real truth. You're slacking, bitch. You're fucking slacking. How does that hurt someone's feelings when you tell them you're slacking? I'm telling you, you can be more. I'm telling you, I see more in you. I'm telling you, I know what you're capable of. And you're saying, no, I'm not. I'm doing the best I can and I still suck. That's not true, motherfucker. You're not doing the most you can. And if you are, fuck the hard work because your blueprint, blueprint is fucked. Hit up a motherfucker get the quality blueprint, realize you're out of alignment, get yourself back in alignment, get your daily habits, your thoughts, your actions, your energy aligned with the outcome you want and quit fucking bitching out by patting yourself on the back because of what you did right. We only see what remains to be done. Let's go.